I'm Lance Vader and I'm Managing Director of the Vader Corporation and one of our uh, development companies in the Vader Corporation is the Robara Aqua Agriculture Operation. Well, Barramundi is Australia's premium native fish. So we wanted to produce it in an environment outside of its natural conditions, which are in the north of Australia. We've also chosen Barramundi because they are a very fast growing fish. So we have all year round growth, as opposed to in the wild only growth uh, for about five to six months of the year. The rest of the time, the fish are do dormant in their growth patterns. So we've got a beautiful premium tasting fish growing at maximum speed for the full 12 months of the year. So we can't beat that option. We operate from two sites. The West Beach site where we grow our fingerlings from an egg through to about 100 millimetres in size that takes about uh, 90 to 100 days. We start with taking water from out in Spencer's Gulf and treating it to make it purer than it's ever in the ocean itself. We have to spend quite a bit of effort with ultraviolet filtration, bag filters, ze zeolite filters, etc. Then we are able to produce 100% certified disease and virus free fingerlings. These fingerlings grow from a spot when they're born to about 100 millimetres long when they come down into the farm. They're transported on one of our road train transporters every fortnight. Uh, we bring down about 20,000 of those juveniles to our site at Rogue. We put about 20,000 into one of these tanks. So that's where, how we start off. Cost of production using full aquaculture process like we do is obviously going to be more expensive than capturing fish that have already been grown. It is difficult to produce in aquaculture and compete with the wild caught. There's no doubt about that. So we had to produce a finder site where we could get access to hot artesian water so that we didn't have the cost of heating water, which would have been prohibitive. So the site at Robe, we have two boys delivering um, about uh, 100,000 gallons of, in the old terms per hour of uh, very, very clean spring water estimated to be 5 million years old. That water comes out of the ground at 30.2 degrees. We need 28 degrees to raise a tropical fish. By the time it's jetted into the tanks, that's perfect. Uh, using the water that comes out, nutrient-rich water that comes out of that, that farm, we can then accelerate the production on the land around us by using that nutrient-rich water for growing pasture for agriculture purposes. We are calling it aqua agriculture. Our fish probably are one of the most economical to produce because we use about 1.2 kilos of food to achieve one kilo of body mass. All our pellets are floating so that we are able to see when they're being consumed so that no food is wasted. Progressively they grow and are graded and get shifted from one tank to another so that they remain all of an even size. Because barramundi, if they're not graded, within 70% size of each other, they will eat each other and then you lose two fish, that's not good. So the grading is quite important. The largest fish we produce here is about one and a half kilos. The majority of these fish are then taken by our road train transporters to the Melbourne and Sydney live fish markets. Mm -hmm.